welcome back to part three of our Movie Exchange Sci-Fi Edition with my movie that we just finished watching, The Giver. Sweetie, what did you think Don't. of? <laughs> Don't. What's Don't. wrong, sweetie? Did you not like The Giver? Don't. Oh! Oh! Okay. <laughs> okay. Pause. Just wait. Just wait for it. Wait for it. Okay. For those who don't know what the Giver is all about, those of you that want to know what we're all about, essentially, humankind was created by aliens, who created the ultimate weapon called Zoonoids. <sighs> they created another thing called the Giver unit, which was supposed to be his armor. When it's used on a zoonoid, it's amazing. <gasps> when it's used on a human, it makes them a hundred times stronger. Oh. So the time movie was about the guy who got the Giver and did everything else there. Now, release your anger. Let the hate flow through you. <laughs> and it's funny because Mark Hamill's in this film. Let the hate flow through you. Thoughts? I don't know where to... This movie sucked so hard. <laughs> like, when I was about, like, I guess, like, 13, I saw this movie called Killjoy, okay? I'm not familiar. It's a clown movie about a clown. It's a clown horror killer, whatever, whatnot. I thought that that would have been the worst movie that I'd ever seen. This is the worst movie. JJ... <sighs> Jimmy Walker is in this film. I have never seen so much shucking and jiving in my life. Like, it was like watching a live action minstrel show. First of all, why does his particular monster or alien have such big lips? And then he rapped, and then he rapped. He had huge lips, he rapped, he was a complete and total fool, like a fool. Don't forget the the onk and the African symbol necklaces I don't, I don't that he wanna, always had. I don't want to address that because I don't. I'm trying to reevaluate my life choices right now. Because <laughs> I'm not sure what would have possessed me to be like, oh, okay, yeah, sure, let's do this. Yeah, no, yeah, sure, why not? And then to sit through that whole thing. I don't even. Okay. How do I even start? Okay, 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 no, no, I got it, I got it. In the beginning, I don't know the guy's name. Is Sean? Sean? This kid, Sean, okay, is like in a in a dojo, I guess. Learning a keto. Learn oh whatever, and he's his opponent, I guess, according to Jonathan, and he and his opponent don't like each other. I didn't get that. I got that his opponent was some kind of weird creep who likes punching people, but okay. Well, I imagine that these that these that these those are these learning institutions that teach children or teach people how to how to fight also teach discipline. So why is it in the very next goddamn scene the same opponent is like a gangster with hanging out with a crackhead, I think? <laughs> and there's like more crackheads, but they're not crackheads, and I think like one of the guys is like this huge I don't know what was going on in this movie. I don't. Let's, let's, <sighs> I'm let's, so let's, confused. Here's the best part about it that is really great about it. We that scene we we introduced to the main character, right? And we got introduced to the love interest. Still to this day, I don't know why she was in the dojo in the first place. She was not there for Sean because they weren't going out yet. Why was she in the dojo? Okay, and then the we love interest. In the beginning, she shows up to the dojo, and Sean is looking at her with the lovey-dovey eyes, and she's like, eh, her, her name is Mitsuki. She's very Japanese. And it's her dad that dies in the beginning. I, I forgot to mention. Her dad dies in the beginning because they want the Giver. The Giver unit, yeah. And they come and they kill him. Because he stole it, but he hid it away. I got this. Let me try. I'm going to tell the story. Okay. 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 I wanna so they're guys, okay? And they want this, okay, no, the movie starts in this opening, and this guy, he's got the thing, 
His name is Dr. Sagawa. Am I yes. right? Dr. Sagawa. He's got this thing and it's like a little disc thing. This is all Power Rangers-esque, okay? He's got the disc thing. And he's like, oh man, it's in the suitcase. And I guess people are chasing him. You don't know this yet, but he's like frantic. So I guess they're chasing him. So he's like in a place and he takes the thing out. He puts it in a lunch box and then he runs off with the box, I guess, to hide the thing. And then the guys come and then they kill him. And they're like, oh, we got the thing. And they take it to the boss who never closes his mouth. And then the boss has got like a vagina on his head and it keeps opening and closing. And the guy that he's opening and closing to, he keeps punching himself. I don't, I can't tell the story. Okay. You know, the, <laughs> the best part to me is that, okay, he switched the Guyver unit with a, with a toaster. The guy kept the toaster in a later scene is trying to make toast with it and gets upset that it burns the toast. This whole movie was so bad. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna, I can't tell you what happened because a lot of the times, I'm, like, I, I paid attention. Don't get me wrong. Like, I paid attention to the whole thing. But the story is so stupid that I can't, I, I can't, I can't, I can't recognize, like, I can't say, like, it's so dumb. <laughs> we need a little more than just dumb. It's, it's, Let's talk about the bad acting. And then, oh, okay. The acting is terrible. The acting is terrible. I don't care if it was 1980. I don't care if it was 1960. 1991 should not be the reason why there is terrible acting for this movie. The acting is so atrocious. Okay. Okay, let's talk Riddle about me this. No, riddle me this. You are a person, okay? And your dad's a scientist. And your dad just got killed the fuck, like, dead. That's like exactly his, where I was going. His body is a corpse, all right? Some guy comes and tells you, oh, hey, your dad's dead. Whoops. You go home to cry about it because your dad's dead. Oh, man, my dad's dead. Then the guy that you like who saw you crying in the dojo when an officer came in to tell you that your dad died, comes to your door and is like, oh, hey, what you doing? He sees the officer in your freaking apartment. So he not, he should know that the, he should know that the officer is clearly not there for any other reason than to try and help you because your father is dead. But instead, he gets jealous and leaves. And then he comes back like two seconds later, right? Doesn't he come back like right after fighting the dudes? Next day. He comes back the next day, okay, to come and check on you after having just been jealous that a guy was in your apartment, but now suddenly everything's okay. So he comes back to your apartment. This, mind you, this is literally one day after you found your dad has been killed. Not even a full day either because it was at night when he got killed. So it's not even a full day. It's like maybe like 12 hours. Comes back to your apartment. And not only are you like dressed to the nines. For 1991. For 1991. You also have a friend that comes over. Oh, no, 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 no. Let me back up. Yeah, back it up. You let him in. Your father has been killed not less than 12 hours ago. And you two... I think it is the appropriate time to start making out on the couch. And then when you get interrupted, the guy who just found out that your dad died 12 hours ago gets upset that you got... I just... I don't know what my life is like. Now, the only shining thing for this film is there that... There is no shining thing for this film. The costume design was amazing. They spent all the money. The whole budget went to the costumes. And everything else just went to shit. Because that is... I'm sorry. I can't get Jimmy Walker. I can't get him out of my head. Like, <laughs> And what's sad about it? I thought he died in the film. He didn't. He had the last line of the movie. Him and this dude is sitting there. And you know what his last line is? Dynamite! Really, guys? Really? 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 Uh, I'm so upset. Like, like I feel like people make me thinking that like I am just 
play upset. No, I am legitimately no. upset that I had to sit through that for the hour and 32 minutes that I sat through it. I don't know what to do to get my time back because I literally just wasted my time. And I don't know how to feel because I spent a majority of that time sitting up like, what? With that kind of face. I was just like, the entire time? The acting was bad. The timing was bad. Especially, remember when he left after they were almost kissing? He said, hey, I'm gonna go get some food. We'll come right back. It was the middle of noon for lunch. Okay. Backtrack. They're in the place. I mean, they're in her apartment. This is the, it's the next day. He comes back to the apartment. It's like, hey, what's up? Oh, my dad's dead. Oh, man, that sucks. Can I kiss you? Why not? Oh, we're about to kiss. Oh, no, there's a knock at the door. Oh, great timing. That's literally what he says. And then the door opens, and it's his dojo teacher. It's his dojo teacher. And she's like, oh, I'm only here for a minute. Oh, well, no, it's okay. I'm going to go. No, I'm only going to stay for a minute. No, I'm going to go. Well, she's only going to stay for a minute. Oh, I I'll be back in a minute. I'll tell you what. I'm going to go grab some food real quick, and I'll be right back. No. Okay. That said noon. 9 o'clock at night, 10 p 12 a.m. in the morning, okay? And my, my, mind you, on his way out initially, he runs past JJ and a fat dude, right? This is at 12 noon. Then he comes back at 12 a.m. in the morning because it clearly is nighttime or clearly early in the morning next day because, I mean, why the fuck not? Comes back. And they are just now, because their mission was to go and kidnap that girl. They're just now, like literally eight hours later, coming out with a wrapped up carpet of her still alive and moving body. And he walks in. And, and he so walks in. And there's like blood scratches. <laughs> and mind you, in this story, Jimmy and the fat uh... guy can transform into giant monsters. But they couldn't take out an 18-year-old little girl and an Aikido Judo master. And there's blood, the house is destroyed. It's like, I don't think it took that much. The house is in shambles uh, to this apparent kidnapping. It only took eight hours. That was, that took eight hours. <laughs> that, and no one, I, I'm assuming neighbors exist. <laughs> you assume much, man. And for eight hours. You assume a lot. Nobody heard the fact that the entire <laughs> Now, here's the best thing about it. Mark Hamill's in this film, and he's like an officer, CIA, he's whatever. He's the like best that. thing about this film. Jonathan, you can say whatever you want to say. I think he is the best thing. You know, oh, he's the only thing, he's the only character in there who can actually act. That can act. He is the best freaking thing about the whole film. Love you, Mr. Hamill. Everybody else is just like, what? He is the only part of the film that's like believable that you that you have somebody who's like actually oh I'm, I'm i'm acting in the film hey i'm an actor and i'm gonna do my job everyone else was like oh oh what okay I oh no am the guy oh oh you fell oh man shuck and then you got jj who's been acting forever who <sighs> y'all been looking high i've been looking low and I'm up against this jiving, jiving monster hoe. That's that's exactly what he said. That's exact. No, 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 no. This isn't bullshit. Take about five minutes to go and look at that scene. That's exactly what he did in the monster form. I've never been so embarrassed in my life. Mark Hamill went through this entire thing and he, he made the film, but then they screwed him over by turning him into a failed defect monster. And it was sad. So, sweetie, making up your own counter, what do you give this film? Please tell me you give it like two JJ's out of, out of ten. I give it like negative twelve. <laughs> negative twelve. What? I'm not using JJ because fuck him in real life and in the movie. <laughs> Fuck him. I'm so serious. <laughs> Fuck Jimmy Walker in real life and in the movie. Fuck him in both ways. I guess I'll just give it negative 12 Guyvers. I guess. I don't fucking know. I... <laughs> negative 12 Guyvers out of 10. Out of 10. Negative 12 Guyvers out of a positive 10. So...
I like the movie. Why did you make me watch this movie, though? And ju having just come from watching Civil War... These are movies I wanted her to watch because, like, so far she hasn't liked any of the movies I've picked because they're both... They're both nostalgia trips for me. I really loved Tron as a kid because it was literally a guy inside of a computer system. Tron was boring. I chose Guyver because... Guyver sucks. Because I watched as a child, big into Power Rangers, and literally this dude could cut people in half and clone himself. As a as child Jonathan, those movies were amazing. Now, as an adult Jonathan, I know that Tron is a very slow-moving movie. And if you don't pay attention to everything, it's really kind of boring. I will fully admit that, except for the light cycle games and the game stuff. This movie is entertaining as fuck to me. Simply of how bad it is and how much it's... Because at first she was falling asleep. She surely was. But when I told her, like, it gets better if you actively make fun of it as you watch it. And as that happened, she started getting up. She started counting out no, everything. See, you started, I, no, see, you started no, no, no. enjoying no, making fun no, no, of no, no, it. No, 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 that, no, none of what I did was enjoyment. No, 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 he's got that all wrong. What happened, what, he did say that. I was falling asleep in the beginning because I was like, oh, it's an old movie and it's boring and I hate it. The reason I got up was because there were so many, how they put it, there were so many movie sins. There were so uh, many sins that I had to get up and look and and see what was going on. Cinema sins. Cinema sins. There were so many of them that I was like, whoa, I cannot possibly fall asleep on this because it is clearly terrible. And I have to point out how terrible it is. And that's exactly what it did. 12. Negative 12 Guyver units out of 10. Oh, man. That is a bad movie. Now that we're done with my set, what's your last one, sweetie? What's part? I kind of want to change it. I kind of want to change it. If you want to be honest, like if, I, I want to change it. Well, I want to jump to Green Hornet. That's what I want to do. We're still in sci-fi, so we can't do that. And Seth Rogen, thank God, has not done a sci-fi movie yet. Seth Rogen, do a sci-fi movie. Please don't. Or does that world end count as sci-fi? It actually does. And I think it counts as fantasy. It's not no, as no, no, no. Are they spaceships? Are this is space? the end. Are they spaceships? Are they in space? It says anything with do with aliens, but that's not terrestrial. Whatever. That is not. So her next film is. I don't even want to talk about this because I'm just very upset. Cloverfield. I don't think he deserves to watch Cloverfield. We're gonna watch Cloverfield, the original film. You don't deserve to watch it though. I promise the next set of films that we do, I will not pick bad ones. I need you to really think about this. <laughs> I need you to really, really think about it next time. Because I feel like you just, you just, you know, you thought that this was a game. I need you to really think next time about who you affect when you do shit like this. Okay? Because I'm not going to be able to come back from this. <laughs> I can't come back from this, man. I have been scarred. I see some things, man. See you in part four. I see four. some things and stuff. Bye, guys. Wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> it's been epically real.